In this video, we're going to integrate StealthWatch Cloud with SecureX. My StealthWatch Cloud setup is a bit plain at the moment. That's due to the fact that I'm redoing my lab, so you'll have to excuse any lack of alerts or sensors at the moment. I'll be doing another set of videos with actual data flowing through these modules, which will hopefully be more interesting from using SecureX from an operational perspective. In the meantime, I think configuring the integration is still important, so I'm making this first set of videos for that. To integrate StealthWatch Cloud with SecureX, we'll navigate to the available integrations again and find the StealthWatch Cloud module to add. In order for SecureX to communicate with my instance of StealthWatch Cloud, I'll need to create an authorization token within StealthWatch Cloud. Let's navigate over to my StealthWatch Cloud dashboard. On the top right hand corner, click on the person icon and then choose your settings from the drop down. I'll navigate to the integrations on the left hand pane and then choose the SecureX integration. We'll want to click on the Generate SecureX Token button. That will both enable SecureX and give us the token to copy. I'll copy that right out of the browser and navigate back to SecureX to paste that in the StealthWatch Cloud module. After saving that, uh, the module should now be active. As I mentioned in a previous video, anything that we add as a module in SecureX will automatically be added in Cisco Threat Response and vice versa. You can see the StealthWatch Cloud module has now been added to Threat Response, which is pretty cool. Let's go back to the SecureX dashboard and I'll create a StealthWatch dashboard within it. As you can see, there's quite a few tiles I can use for StealthWatch Cloud. I'm going to go ahead and speed up this part of the video while I pretty this up. Now that I have a pretty StealthWatch Cloud dashboard, as you can see, with all my tiles on it, that's pretty much there, all there is to get that initial configuration done. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that you learned something from this.